CTV News Update is at 1.30. The opinions expressed in the following program are provided for general information purposes only and should not be construed as advice from CJAD 800 or Bell Media. Listeners should always consult their own real estate agent with questions or concerns. The following is sponsored content. Welcome to The Real Estate Show with your real estate and mortgaging team, Terry Kalakos and Marav Marciano on CJAD 800. And a happy Sunday afternoon, everyone. You're listening to The Real Estate Show. I'm your host, Terry Kalakos chartered real estate and mortgage broker, as well as president of Northeast and CBC Alliance. Joining me in studio, we have my beautiful co-host, Marav Marciano, chartered real estate and mortgage broker and vice president of Northeast and CBC Alliance as well. Welcome, Marav. Thank you. Thank you. Beautiful day. Absolutely. But like my grandmother used to say, it's got e I knew which it. means... <laughs> <laughs> the sun has teeth. So I was when like, it's, I know that expression. when it's like a fall or a wintry day and you see the sun outside, it's got teeth. It's gonna be it's gonna be cool out there. And it is cool, uh, but it's okay because we're approaching winter. So um what are we doing today? What are we discussing? Last week was interesting. I have to say we uh, we we hit a few uh, a few nerves out there. You think um, <laughs> <laughs> we talked about debt consolidation. Yeah. Um People are very passionate about their opinions, yes. um, and uh, that's good. We encourage everyone to share your opinion with us. Uh, it did open, you know, more more subjects, and we figured we might as well continue the subject because there's a lot of people interested yeah. and actually uh, ashamed of uh, calling in or texting in. So we'd rather, uh, you know, answer those questions on the air. I had uh, this was a very interesting week for me, and you know, uh, for those of you who you know you've been listening to the show long enough. You know that everything that we do, we do this show because we want to make sure that we give back to the community and we want to make sure that everyone gets the information that they need to get. And like you said, there's a lot of people that are ashamed. They don't want to call. They, they think that people are going to recognize their voice or recognize by the text. I actually got quite a few calls this week uh, from listeners who needed further advice. And I figured, you know what, instead of us kind of going on and talking about something else, why don't we just do a part two to the show? Um, I'm going to share some of these uh, these stories uh, from some of these callers that came in this week as well, uh, just because I think it's important for everyone to uh, to kind of, you know, be up to speed and, and, and know what's going on. Make sense? Yeah, absolutely. And uh we're better off learning from each other, right? Exactly, exactly. Uh, you can join the conversation as well by calling in to 514-790-0800 or you could text in to 514-800. Don't forget to write your name in the text so that we can give you proper kudos. As well, you can visit us online at facebook.com slash northeast nordest and facebook.com slash CBC Alliance Quebec. And if you haven't done so, you definitely need to do this, which is subscribe to our YouTube channel which is newsonthego.ca. Now, before we kick off today's show, uh, I do want to make a little bit of, a, of an announcement because uh, actually there's a couple of things, but we'll stick to one for now. Uh, and that has to do with fixed rates. And we talked a little bit about, uh, about it last week and we said that interest rates were on the way up. And this week we saw it happen and we saw it happen pretty drastically. So where five-year fixed rates were, just one month ago versus where they are today, it's a pretty significant difference. And we're talking a good 30 to 40 basis points in some cases. We're continuing to see the five-year bond yields go up and up and up and up. Now, the variables have stayed stable because the prime rate hasn't changed, because the Bank of Canada hasn't changed their overnight rate, even though inflation is going up. So, 2022 is around the corner. Be ready. I wouldn't be surprised. At some point in 2022, the Bank of Canada obviously is going to come in. They are going to raise the overnight rate to take a, uh, get a hold of inflation. But the other thing that's going to happen is we're going to see the five-year fixed rates, the two years, the threes, the fours, everything. They are going up and they're going to go up fast. Uh, my prediction, I think that before the year is over, we'll probably see the five-year fixed rate 
uh, go above uh, 2.5, 2.6%. Um, but I do believe that it's going to drop back off again, interestingly enough. So here's Terry's prediction, by February or March. So although we'll see it go up, we'll probably see it drop back down. And that's going to have to do with the Bank of Canada uh, going in or the government going in and starting to buy bonds again. And that's going to be in the new year. Okay, let's see. There's Terry's prediction. Terry's prediction. Yeah. The good thing is all these shows are recorded, so... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, if I'm wrong, I'm just going to go back and, re you know, er erase one of them. <laughs> I would never do that. No. But um, interestingly enough, um, the five-year bond yield last week, it was at 1.23. So last week when I made the kind of a little bit of a market update, we were at 1.23% on the five-year bond. Today, the bond is 1.37. Wow. So it's it's gone up. Um, I have a quick text here from uh, Tommy. Should I get fixed rate instead of a variable I have now? If you have a variable right now and you have the ability to convert it to a fixed at a good rate, do it. If you're able to get a decent five-year fixed rate, do it. Right now, what's happening, the difference between getting a variable rate mortgage or getting a fixed there's a huge spread between the two. A variable could be even 1.35% you can get it at, maybe sometimes even lower. Uh, whereas a fixed, your chances, you know, chances are you're going to be in the two fours. So there's a 1% difference there. Um, if you take a variable, you'll be fine with it probably for about a year and a half. If you take a fixed, obviously it's going to be good to go for the next five years. And some people do, like I'm... I'm uh of the mind of knowing I like knowing my payments mm. so I have a harder time with variable uh, so everybody's different some people are okay to yep. save the money and take the chance and when they see it go up they're gonna take they're gonna pull the trigger at that point yeah and look we have variable rates on some of our properties mm -hmm. and it is what it is they've served us well uh, but larger properties with larger mortgages, I tend to go fix because I do want to make sure that I have that flexibility and, or sorry, not the flexibility. I want to make sure that I have that fixed payment. Mm -hmm. um, I'll sacrifice the flexibility for that fixed payment. Make Makes sense? sense. Yeah. Yeah. So last week we had uh, quite a bit of uh, texters and callers. We even couldn't get to all the texters. We might actually be able to uh, answer some of those from last week. Sure. But I think we ended off really talking about how it's important to consult the right professionals, speak to the right people, yeah. you know, have the right strategy. Yeah. Because, you know, that comes with a psychological effect also. So maybe yeah. we could touch on that just to open up the show. So, um, interestingly enough, purely by, co you know, complete coincidence, uh, this week there was a trustee that came into our office. Uh, I don't mind saying his name. It was, uh, he was from uh, Group Serpone. It was uh, George Trijas. Tsikas. 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 Trijas, Tsikas. Um, great guy. Very friendly. Very nice man. Um, I actually told him that we should, we should get him on the show. Uh, and I said, I asked the question because last week I specifically said, you have to be very, very careful about who you go and you see. And I asked them about these companies that advertise on radio and on TV and stuff. And they talk about consolidating credit. Now, these companies, I said, what's the deal with them? And he goes, beware. He goes, most of the time, once these companies get into your credit bureau, exact, literally word for word what I said last week, when they get in there, they make a huge mess and then at the, they'll milk the customer and then, you know, move forward a little bit later, the, the customer has to go and do a consumer proposal or they have to do a, a bankruptcy anyways. So you have to be really careful where you're getting your information and a good trustee can really help out in a situation like that, or a great mortgage broker can really help out. I mean, we, you know, uh, CPs and bankruptcies and stuff like that are literally the last choice that we give a customer. It does happen sometimes, yeah. but unfortunately, you know, unfortunately, but luckily I would say 70% to 75% of the time we're able to fix the situation without having to go there. Yeah, and uh, we even discussed other uh, other solutions. So it's interesting. To, when you're working with a trustee, they're really here to help you, um, you know, get rid of those debts properly if that's your last resort. Exactly. You know. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and, you know, talking about the psychological effects of, uh, 
you know, we've seen marriages dissolve from, you know, being in debt and bad, you know, decisions, if you will. We've seen suicides. We've seen all kinds of things happen. Yeah. It is absolutely, absolutely important that you make sure that, not only you get the help that you need for the underlying debt, but you have to remember what we said last week. If you could throw money at a problem and make it go away, then it's not a real problem. Keep that in mind. Very important. When we come back, we're going to be taking a look at the different strategies to get rid of debt. But first, we're off to the CJAD Traffic Center. 13 northbound has volume ahead of Gouin for the Bisson Bridge. The Met westbound is shut down between the Laurentian Auto Route and Cavendish. Heavy volume ahead of that closure from Christophe Colomb, affecting the drive on to carry northbound up from Code St. Catherine. No access to 40 westbound. 20 westbound, a slow mover through the yards. 15 southbound, two lanes closed across Nuns Island. Inbound tunnel is shut down. Getting your flu shot at the pharmacy? Help protect yourself against pneumococcal pneumonia at the same time. Ask if Prevnar 13 is right for you. Learn more at Prevnar.ca. Let us know what you see on the roads. Call on your tips to Star 800. Next report, 130. The Real Estate Show is brought to you by Northeast Real Estate and Mortgage Agency. At Hydro Solution, we know how special those moments singing under a hot shower are. Day, baby, be the day, 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 day. That's why you should never let a broken hot water heater ruin the moment. Well, right now, you can rent a brand new hot water heater starting from just $10.49 a month. Talk about hitting all the right notes. Plus, we now rent heat pumps and offer electric vehicle charging stations. So, ladies and gentlemen, start, start your vocal cords. Hydro Solution. We rent, we deliver, we install, we get it done. Conditions apply. Hey, Nissan. So this is the all-in clear-out event? Yes, ma'am. How all in is all in? Totally all in. Take the kicks with Apple CarPlay and Bose speakers in the headrest. Great looks, best fuel economy. Hmm, go on. Okay, try this. You can lease it from the equivalent of $52 a week for 39 months. You in? All in. Until November 1st, $227 a month, $1,095 cash down. Retail value of $22,043 on approved credit details at Nissan. When you tell your girlfriend, get changed, you're dressed like a tramp. Change your password so I can see your messages. When are you going to change your mind, you stubborn idiot? Change your attitude when you talk to me. Change your friends. You better change your tone of voice. It's not up to her to change. It's up to you. Violence against women stops now. Talk about it. Do something about it. And call SOS Violence Conjugale. A message from the Gouvernement du Québec. When my friends come over for supper, they just can't believe it. Bravo, Caro. Your presentations are so beautiful. Whoa, a work of art. Your scallops on a green pea coulis. It's so beautiful. I don't dare eat it. Ha <laughs> ha. Great. What they aren't saying is that when your kitchen looks like ours, cooking anything is an act of magic. Is it time? We're here with 30 simultaneous rebates for 30 days during our kitchen inspiration event. Jatmain La Rivière. Oh, details in store first we need to decide on a neighborhood then get a pre-approval hopefully at a fantastic rate find a realtor a notary get insurance let's just call northeast northeast yes northeast i'm terry Kalakos, president and founder of northeast whether you're buying your first home or you're a seasoned investor my team of mortgage and real estate brokers and i are here to help it's simple and it's free let terry and his team make your dreams come true call northeast today at 514-680-4674 until October 31st, the kids' menu at Cora is just a dollar. What's more, Cora will donate that dollar to the Breakfast Club of Canada. Wait, what? Can you repeat that? No problem. Until October 31st, the kids' menu at Cora is just a dollar. One dollar? Yep, details in restaurant. Imagine finding the design, refinement, and joy of driving a Mazda all in a 100% electric vehicle. Good news. The first ever all-electric Mazda MX-30 is here, and it's the perfect vehicle for everyday life. Get into one today with a two-year no-charge scheduled maintenance plan, a $500 Mazda bonus, and a two-year free trial of Mazda Connected Services. Discover the 2022 Mazda MX-30 EV today. Visit your participating Mazda dealer at Mazda.ca for more details. 
Earnings are higher than ever for drivers with Uber in Montreal as riders go back to their normal life. For a limited time only, get up to $1,000 extra when you sign up to drive with Uber. Visit uber.com slash drive to get started. Terms and conditions apply. You're listening to The Real Estate Show with your real estate and mortgaging team, Terry Kalakos and Marav Marciano on CJAD 800. You're listening to The Real Estate Show, and today we're continuing last week's talk about debt consolidation. Feel free to call into the show with any of your real estate questions at 514-790-0800 or text into 514-800. And don't forget to write your name in the text so we can give you proper kudos. <laughs> you said that like a little leprechaun. <laughs> what happened there? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe my grade three teacher was oh, no, was okay. right. No, no, we're not going there, Terry. <laughs> we're not going there. Yeah. Okay. Um, so we have a, a, a great text. Actually, uh, they didn't put their name, but it's okay. So uh, reverse or regular mortgage for an elderly couple. What do you recommend? Simple answer. Both. So it um, it's going to depend on a few different factors. One of the main factors is what kind of revenues does this elderly couple have? Do they have a government pension? You know, just regular kind of pensions that you receive, which is very limited. Or, you know, are they a retired teacher that has a fantastic pension? Are they, you know, do they have an employer's pension? So those, that answer will determine what my recommendation would be. So if they have a very basic government pension that doesn't provide them with a lot of resources monthly, I would probably recommend going the reverse uh, mortgage route. However, if they have a good amount of money that's coming in every month, uh, then at that point, I might recommend going the regular mortgage route or maybe a home equity line of credit. Hopefully that answers the texter's question. Excellent. And we had a couple of other ones, if uh, you want to go through them. Um, yes, but I actually wanted to ask you something about refinancing, because oh. uh, we do have a lot of people who come to our office asking to refinance in order yeah. to consolidate debts. Would you say that that's a good strategy, seeing as rates is, are low? It is the strategy to use. So when you refinance a mortgage, okay, so a lot of people, first of all, they don't understand what the term refinance is. They think that when you re refinancing, you're putting on a second mortgage on the property. That's not what we're talking about here. Refinancing of a mortgage basically means that you're gonna go in, you cancel the one that you have, and you set up a whole new one. Or in some cases, you can put on a second mortgage, but in most cases, it's more advantageous to just break what you have and set up a new one. Depending on the amount of money that is owed, in other words, depending on the amount of uh, money that we're going to be refinancing to pay off debts to, you know, even penalties are worth it. I have done mortgages where the customer had to pay fifteen, sixteen thousand dollars of penalties to their old bank so that we can do a refinancing. And it actually made sense just because the customer was carrying so much debt and it was having such a horrendous impact on their credit uh, profile. Yeah, I uh, I agree with that. And I've personally seen it as well. Sometimes you add up all your monthly obligations and you're saying, I've got $3,000 a month of credit card debts, and all I'm doing is paying the, the bare minimum. This is not going anywhere. And if I swallow it all up into the mortgage, now my payment is, I don't know, $1,500 $1, a month. You just saved $1,500 a month of cash flow. That's right. Which is life transforming. Yes, yeah, 100%. Insane. I'm sure that most people can use an extra $1,500 uh, a month. But this is the key, and this is something that we've always talked about. You have to remember what you do with that savings will determine whether or not what you've done makes sense or not. Right? So if you go in and you refinance your property and you take that $1,500 a month in savings and you go, I don't know, party it away, Maybe that's not the best kind of use of that savings, but if you take that savings and you invest it or you use it to maybe accelerate that mortgage, in other words, pay it off faster, now all of a sudden the effects are compounding one on top of the other. You know, something as simple as 
taking that money and you know that savings and putting it into investments into an RSP will yield you a tax refund that tax refund then you could turn around and you could reinvest it and you keep doing that and now all of a sudden five years goes by and your life is completely transformed mm -hmm. right makes sense I like that um, we have a, a text here. Can I take a second mortgage on my house slash bungalow uh, to buy a duplex? Yes, absolutely. So you could take a second mortgage. You can break the one that you have and set up a new one. So you, in other words, you could refinance the property. And the beautiful thing, if you use the proceeds from your principal residence to buy an investment property, what was that mortgage used for? An investment. Which makes it? Tax deductible. Boom. There you go. I love that. Yeah. I, I honestly love that. And uh, we've seen it with uh, with clients and uh, they basically, let's say they have a $300,000 mortgage, 50000 of it was used to buy another property. They literally do like a separate amortization table for that 50000 in order to uh, present that to the, uh, to the accountant as a tax deductible uh, portion of their mortgage. Absolutely. So I find that a very nice strategy, honestly. A hundred percent. Man, the texts are just like flying in here. I can't even <laughs> like, I I'm, 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 know I'm going to end up missing someone. Uh, here's another one. Is there any hope for prices to go down anytime soon to allow regular working people to be able to at least buy a small condo? And that's from Sharon. So Marav, what's your thoughts? I don't, I don't mean to be the bearer of bad news, but I don't see the prices going down. They might stabilize. They might um, not continue going up as quickly, but I don't see them going down, to be honest with you. Sharon, I, I, I tend to agree with you, Marav. I think that prices are going to drop um, only when inventory goes up. So once we see an increase in the amount of inventory of homes available and condos available, that's when you're going to see prices start to drop on real estate. And that's going to take a while. It will. The and thing is, yeah. Sorry, oh, I'm so sorry. No, go no, ahead. No, no. I, I think the problem is not necessarily the price of the real estate. The problem is the way that the government uh, qualifies you for a mortgage. Because of the stress test, it actually removed a good portion of hardworking Canadians from from the market. It's uh, And this is what triggered this whole situation in the real estate market was the stress test the minute yep. it came in we just saw like a snowball effect and uh, yeah i don't know if they're going to remove it <laughs> if they remove it it reopens the doors yep. to regular working canadians yeah absolutely um follow up to the previous question which was about uh, rep, uh, regular regular or reverse mortgages uh this is due to unexpected medical bills pending to cover it. So in a case like that, I would probably recommend a reverse mortgage and